Hi guys, you might have heard about our Yeetbook Armor PDF Invoice and Packing Slips plugin. This one is our tool to create and manage invoices, performa invoices, credit notes, and packing slips. Regardless of the type of product or service that you sell to your customers, correct billing is key to managing your shop built with WooCommerce. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the plugin, how to create invoices, and more. Before we get into it, let me remind you, of course, to like this video, subscribe to our channel, and hit that bell down below so that you know every time we have a new video for you. Now, let's get to it. Okay, so this plugin allows you to create invoices, performa invoices, credit notes, and packing slips. We're not only going to look into how it works, but we will also look into the new features that we got with the 3.0 update. We will see all of that in this site, okay? First, we need to activate the plugin. So let's go over to our dashboard, plugins, install plugins. I installed it before, but I haven't activated it yet. So we're going to search for the plugin right here. There it is. Yeet WooCommerce, PDF invoices, and Packing Slips Premium. Activate. Great. Now let's move on to Yeet. PDF invoices. Great. So here you see that we have six tabs. We have invoices and credit notes. You'll find all of the invoices there, all of the documents. Then we have the general options tab. You'll find the plugins general settings there. Then we have the documents format tab where you'll find everything that has to do with the style and format of the documents. Then we have the document storage tab. Here you'll find options like automatically upload the documents to Dropbox. Then we have the templates tab where you will find the content and style options. And lastly, the help tab where you're going to find the plugins documentation, frequent asked questions and video tutorials like this one. Since the plugin's main feature is the creation of invoices, we'll focus on that, okay? So let's head over to invoices and credit notes. Here we will find all of the invoices created. Of course, I'm not seeing an invoice right now because none has been created yet. I just activated the plugin. The possibility to view all of the invoices created here was added in the 3.0 update. Let's go to general options. So the first option here is the invoices creation. This is the plugin's main feature, okay? You can create the invoices manually or automatically. The difference is that with the first one, you can manually create invoices only for specific orders that you indicate. And the second one automatically creates all of the invoices for all of the orders. This one is the one that is selected by default and we can choose the date to show in the invoice. We have the date that the order is completed, the date of the order creation, or the date of the invoice creation. So maybe the order was completed on October 5, but then I manually created the invoice on October 6, so it would have that date, October 6. We also have the option to choose how to generate the invoice numbers, okay? We expand here and we have three options. We used to only have this option available, start sequential number from a specific number, but with the 3.0 update, we got two more options, use order ID and use order number. So what's this option? Start sequential numbering from a specific number. Imagine we already created five invoices before installing the plugin. We can simply indicate here that the next invoice that is generated with the plugin should start with the number six. So this way, the next time we create an invoice, it will have number six and the next one will have number seven, eight, nine, and so on. About this invoice creation options, we recommend the automatic creation. By selecting this option, you will be able to choose when to automatically create the invoice. And if we expand here, you have three options. The date the order was created, the date when the order changes to processing status, or the date when the order changes to completed status. I recommend this one when the order changes to completed status there. 
then if we scroll down we have other options like for instance reset on january 1st if i select this one here since i have this option selected to start the invoice numbers with the number six then on january 1st even if i have a thousand previous invoices the first order would have number six the second one number seven and so on if we keep scrolling down you'll see that we have options for the performer invoices the received options as well credit notes and more let's save this for now and we'll move on to the documents format tab this is basically to set how the documents will be saved the first option is the date format if we expand here we have date month year we have other formats as well i'm going to select the default date format right here the second option is very interesting it's an option to add a prefix or a suffix to the invoice number let's enable this option here you have an example we could, for instance, add the name of the shop as a prefix before the invoice number. Let me do that. And if we scroll down, here's how it would look. The invoice number format would be prefix first, number later in the middle, and suffix at the end. I'm not adding a suffix here, so we would only see this. Okay, let's save this and let's move on to the document storage tab so here is the name of the folder where the documents are saved okay this is the location of the folder you can of course change the name of the folder and you can enable these other options you can automatically save the documents to dropbox or google drive the Google Drive option was also implemented in the 3.0 update. So you basically just need to enable the option and complete the information required below. Let's move on to template content. So here we have two tabs, content and style. The first one, the content tab, modifies the content of the documents. That would be the name of the company, the logo, company details, and more. So basically, you would be able to choose what to show inside all of the documents. Let me show you. Here's the crate note that we have in our PDF invoice and packing slips live demo. Here you see that I can add the company details. Here is the logo of the company. Here's the customer information. If for instance, we don't want to show the customer's address, which is right here, we can go to template content scroll down and here you have the customer invoice details okay here's everything you just saw on the credit note i showed you the billing address would be right here this is the first name last name you have all the information here if you don't want to show the address then you simply delete that okay or maybe if we go back here you can add the company details, you can add the address if you want to, the city, the state, maybe a phone number, anything you want to add, you can add it here. So basically in this tab, we can manage the content of the documents. We could even change the product's information. Let me go back to the credit note. Here you see that we have the product, the name, we have a description, the price. If we go back to the dashboard and scroll down, Here in visible columns, you see that we have the product picture, the quantity, the on sale price, the product price, tax, and so on. You can choose here what you want to show and what you don't want to show. Now, if we go to the style tab right here, we see that we have three different template style to choose from. We have default black and white and modern stripes before the 3.0 update we only had the default template now we have these other two options to choose from 
So this is cool because you can customize the invoices, the credit notes, and the documents that you're going to be sending your customers so they kind of have your special design. For instance, I'm going to choose the Modern Stripes template. I can customize the colors that we see here and inside the document. You can absolutely choose the color you want. I'm going to choose for a background, maybe a more feminine color. And for the borders as well. Like this. you so that we have a lot of colors that we can customize here i'm going to save these options okay now that we know the plugin we have customized the colors of the invoice and we have enabled the automatic invoice creation i'm going to add my company logo and we're going to see how the plugin works okay so we're back on the invoices and credit notes tab Let's say that a couple of minutes ago, a customer placed an order in our site. Since we have enabled the automatic invoice creation option, and I have this set up to automatically create the invoice when the order status changes to completed, the moment I changed it to completed, the plugin automatically created the invoice and sent it to the customer. We're going to see it, but first, let me tell you that we can find orders in two places. We can now see the orders and the invoice under WooCommerce orders or in the plugins main tab where we are right now. So let's start here. As I said before, we can find all of the invoices created with the plugin here. We only have one so far. We can select just one or all of them here. And we have a couple of options that we can apply to these documents. We can download the PDF files, we can delete them or we can regenerate them. We can also filter by date and we can export a CSV file of this view. We have the option to view the invoice from here, view. We're going to take a closer look in just a couple of minutes, but here's my invoice back. This was also added in the 3.0 update. If I go over to WooCommerce orders, you see that I have the order here. I'm going to click here so I can access the order details. I have the order here as always. And in the right panel, we will find the invoice sent to the customer. You see how the invoice number is Sarah6? Because if you remember, we added a prefix, Sarah. And then we decided to start the numbering of the invoices from the number 6. And I just completed the order minutes ago. That's why the invoice date is today, October 6, 2021. As I said before, here you have the invoices. You can download the PDF invoice, you can remove it, you can regenerate it. You would have the packing slips right here and the Proforma invoices as well. Let me download this and we'll open it. Okay, great. So here's the invoice. Here is the logo of my company. The colors that I chose, if you remember, I selected pink and purple the customer's information, the product information, the name, the quantity, the price, the shipping, the order number, and the invoice number right here, prefix Sarah and invoice number six, the date, and of course the total price right here. So this is automatically sent in an email to the customer when the automatic invoice is enabled. If you had the manual invoice creation, you could manually create the invoice from these settings. Let me show you. Let's go back to the order details. You wouldn't have this automatically created. You would have to go here. You would have the same button right here. So you wouldn't have the invoice automatically created and sent to the customer. You would have to get into every order that didn't have the invoice created and created here first. And you would have to 
go here to the order actions and email the invoice order details to the customer. This way you would manually send the invoice to the customer. You have to get into every order that doesn't have the invoice created and created and send it manually here. We could also do it from e PDF invoices. Here we have the send to customer option. We have regenerate, delete and download PDF. Customers would also be able to download their invoices from their my account page. So let's go over there. Okay, so here I am in my account page as a customer. You know that you can click here on orders and you can see all of the orders that you have placed in the side. We have the order number, the date, the status, the total. And here we have the view button where you can see the order and the invoice button. This one will allow customers to download their invoices. So they wouldn't just receive the invoices with the email we send. They would also be able to access the invoices here. Let me go back to the plugin settings. The last thing we want to mention is that every change that we make in the template style or content that we need our customers to know to see, we would have to click here and regenerate the invoice. Okay, the invoices do not get regenerated automatically. So we would click here and we would have to confirm. And then the invoice would be regenerated. You would have the same number because it's the same invoice regenerated with the new information we added or we changed. Now, when this happens, the customer is not going to get a new email because the email is sent only when the invoice is generated first. So if we want to send the invoice again to them, we would have to go here and send to customer. Okay, so now that you know how our Yeet WooCommerce PDF Invoice and Packing Slips plugin works, what are the main options and how easy it is to manage invoices with it, the only thing that's left is for you to use it in your site. Okay guys, so that was it for our video today. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up and we'll see you again for our next video.